What's going on everybody and welcome back to Comic Breakdown. In this video, we are jumping back into Batman Off-World with issue number 4. Throughout this series, we have seen Batman taken to a far-off, war-torn galaxy. After taking control of the War Storm, he decides it is time to take the fight to those responsible for all of this oppression. He goes for the Black Sun Mining Company. In Batman's quest to stomp out this threat in fear that one day it may come to Gotham, but more than that, a unwillingness to turn away. That he cannot rightfully call himself Batman while all of these people are struggling, while all of these people are under the thumb of oppression. And so while Batman brings down the wrath of God on these people, the enemy is about to unleash a weapon of their own. So, make sure you guys have subscribed to the channel, make sure that you like this video, and with that being said, let's dive into this breakdown. Alright gang, so as we dive into this issue, we pick up in the Slag Galaxy. We are picking up on one of the Black Sun Moon Mining Clusters, one of many mining facilities throughout the galaxy. They are currently being approached by the Warstorm, a Zeta Beam bringing in the payload. The Overseer and all the soldiers here, they're expecting new recruits, but instead what they get is Batman and his Hound. Without hesitation, Batman begins to crack some skulls, grabbing hold of the Overseer and letting him know that you need to tell your bosses, wherever the war storm flies, worlds are going to be freed, to tell them the storm is coming, that Batman is coming for the Black Suns. This is what takes us to the Black Sun Mining Company. We pick up with Lady Wrath one of two siblings in charge of the Black Sun Mining Company, and she is just now receiving the message from Batman, talking to Captain Sin, learning about his failure, learning about this individual known as Batman, telling her brother Lord Whisper to deliver the message. This is where Captain Sin gets beat down, being punished for his failure. But more than that, they are now trying to learn where Batman comes from, and they're beginning to kick around ideas on how they might be able to kill him. They want him brought here alive to the Orb of Orphans. Because he has done all of this all by himself, they have found themselves very intrigued. They still plan to kill him, but they would like to have some words with him first. This is what takes us into the depths of space. Batman going from one colony to another and liberating them. But with every punch, he sees Gotham. He sees it drenched in blood. That if he lets these people get away with this, they will come for him. But he also feels Gotham calling to him. He finds himself growing more desperate to get home. Angry that he is still here in a place where he has no right to be, but coming up to planet after planet, colony after colony, and seeing all of these enslaved people, saving orphans. He knows this is a fight he can't abandon. He knows that Batman still has work to do. And so this anger, this drive to get home, this leads him to push himself to bring an end to this conflict as quickly as possible so that he can get home. But as we pick up a couple weeks ago, we have Ion here having a conversation with Batman. Really, it's an argument. She's trying to tell him that you should just leave, that you freed the war storm. You have the capability to go home. You've learned your enemy. You know how to defeat them if they come to you. But she is confused on why he wants to stay here. What could be the purpose? And he says it's because of all those that are oppressed, all those enslaved, that he cannot stand by and watch this happen. For her, she finds this rather offensive because she asked Batman to stay and he said no. He said that he must return home. Really, it's her feelings that got hurt. She wanted Batman to stay for her. And as the conversation continues on, Batman says that I want you to come with me. I want you to come along, help me save these people. But for her, if Batman had asked to come because Batman wants her to, because there's a possibility that the two of them might have a relationship, then she would have more than willingly come along. But she knows that Batman, he is in love with the fight. He is in love with being Batman. She knows that there is no room for her. That the love for vengeance, the love for getting justice, it will always overshadow any relationship that could be. 
This is what takes us to the Black Sun Mining Company's secret weapon. One of the most notorious storm chasers in all the Slack galaxy. His real name is unknown. He is simply known as the Thanagorian. Wanted on murder and interstellar kidnapping charges by the Hawk Police back on his home planet. Wanted by the Science Rangers of Ron and the Green Lanterns of 16 space sectors. And he has just been given orders to hunt down Batman. As we pick up with Batman, he is currently getting ambushed, with Punchbot doing all he can to operate the systems, but this ship usually operates with an 800 plus crew. Right now, it's Punchbot, the Hound, and Batman. And Batman just took one of the ships to go and try to stand off against all of these forces. Using the Zeta Beam to beam all of the pilots, the enemy pilots, into the brig. Batman is still holding firm on his code of no one dies. This is when Batman gets a notification of a ship coming in faster than any of the others. Too small to actually identify. We see something come in and smash right through Batman's ship. That thing was the Thanagarian. He came in, grabbed Batman out of the ship, and pulled him into space. With Batman talking to Punchbot, trying to figure out what the heck he is even looking at. Punchbot fills him in on exactly who this guy is. This is something that Batman did not train for. This whole time, he's been telling himself that he is the Storm, the face of war for a galaxy in peril. But he finds himself still so blind, just a child fumbling around in the darkness. The nymph metal on his wings stopping or interfering with the Zeta Beam and thinking to himself that maybe she was right. Maybe he should have gone home when he had the chance. As it looks like Batman is about to get taken out 26 million miles away, we have Jim Gordon putting up the bat signal and they have come to terms with Batman is simply not coming. Alfred has been scanning for deep space transmissions and he has found no message in the bat cave alone with nothing but the memory of Bruce. Now in a saloon in the Slag Galaxy, we have the Overseer and somebody else having a conversation. They are talking about the 2 million credits that are out for Batman's head. But the word is that the Thanagarian is already out there picking up the trail. So the likelihood that somebody else is gonna get there first probably won't happen. But sitting in this bar, just so happens to be Ion. And that will be the end of this issue. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Another great issue from Batman Off World. I'm gonna be real, it is nice to see Batman getting humbled so much. Now this is a year one Batman. He put on that cow one year ago. He's full of arrogance full of ego. He thought that he was going to come up here and do something, and they have shown him time and time again that he is far out of his league. Now, he has been able to make a comeback, make a counterattack, get the upper hand, and he took over the war storm. He thought that this made him invincible, that he was unstoppable. With every colony, with every planet that he liberated, it gave him more confidence. But when the time came and the Black Sun Mining Company launched an ambush, he came upon yet another force that he was not prepared for, that he was not trained for. And it is only going to be because of the kindness of others that he's going to make it out of this alive. It is always nice to see Punchbot in these comics. He's been a fantastic addition and I love having him around. Seeing Alfred looking at that picture of Bruce, it's just heart-wrenching. So sad to see he is out there searching day in and day out, just waiting for Bruce to come back. The next issue looks to be very promising, with a promise of a very big battle ahead of us. And then it is off to the Lord and Lady, Wrath and Whisper. So let me know your thoughts, let me know your theories. If you want to get caught up on everything that is going on with this series, go ahead, check out the link in my description as well as the top of this video. That's going to get you completely caught up on everything going on with Batman Off World. If you want to support the channel, you can always do so by joining the channel membership, much like Patreon having multiple different tiers, from $1 to $50, from loyalty badges to comments 
Comics every single month. Not only are you helping out the channel tremendously, you are getting tons of perks in the process. Now, if you're unable to do this, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, like this video, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any content that we have coming out, and with that being said, until the next breakdown.